This video shows the intraoperative use of patient fixation and the creation of a precision pulse capsulotomy centered on the visual axis. This capsulotomy is then used as a reference marker for eye wall placement, thereby anchoring cataract surgery to the patient's visual axis. In this particular surgery, the patient was asked to maintain fixation on the left microscope light while the surgeon looked through the corresponding eyepiece coaxial to this light. Using a Thornton ring, the eye was stabilized and the PPC tip was introduced into the anterior chamber. The push rod was then slid back, allowing the PPC tip to assume its original circular shape. The next step was to position the center of the PPC suction cup at the P1 Purkinje image, which specified the location of the patient's physiological visual axis. It was very important during this step to only pull the push rod back until its tip was just outside of the nitinol capsulotomy ring. By leaving the rod at this position, the rigidity of the device neck was maintained, facilitating PPC tip positioning. It was also useful to use the capsulotomy ring, here outlined by the yellow circle for P1 centration. Once centered on P1, suction was activated on the surgeon's command and the push rod was gradually pulled back all the way out of the neck, allowing full suction to be delivered via the neck into the PPC suction cup for a complete capsulotomy. Hydrodissection and phaco emulsification were performed. The IOL was positioned to achieve 360 degrees even overlap with the visually centered PPC capsulotomy as the reference marker. In this typical case, the patient's dilated pupil, outlined here by the blue circle, was not centered on the visual axis. If the capsulotomy had been centered on the pupil, the anterior capsule may not completely overlap the anterior peripheral optic, and any resulting lens tilt will increase the chance of induced aberrations. The visually centered PPC capsulotomy was outlined as the green circle and was displaced with respect to the center of the pupil as predicted. The precision pulse capsulotomy allows the surgeon to center the capsulotomy on the visual axis for the most stable long-term optical result.